is kind of coming into the same thing. It's kind of what we just looked at. Swap the variables. Right? Swap them. And then solve for y. Right? So we have y, which being um, we need to divide by 2 first before you can deal with the radical. So that can be written as 1 half x equals square root of 2y. To get rid of the square root, we need to square both sides. So therefore, that's 1 fourth x squared equals 2y. Then we can divide by 2. And therefore, we have um, 1 eighth x squared equals y. So y inverse equals 1 eighth x squared. Remember, guys, dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. So 1 half times 1 fourth would be 1 eighth. Now the question is, guys, do we know what this graph looks like? Yeah, it has a vertical stretch of 2 and then a vertical and then a horizontal compression of 2. So whatever, you know, it's going to look something like that. Then we go ahead and find the inverse. Do we kind of have an idea of what this graph looks like? The 1 half eighth? Yes? I mean, it's basically a quadratic, but with a vertical compression of 1 eighth. So that graph probably looks like that. Well, are these two functions inverses of each other? No. This is a radical. Like, they don't look the same, right? They have to be, have nice symmetry. So what we have to do is we realize, oh, well, we don't want to include the negative values here. Because by squaring it, when you square something, you're including, you're taking into account positive and negative values. So we need to restrict this to only work with the positive values. So therefore, we're going to add the restriction x has to be greater or equal to 0. When x is great, greater or equal to 0, you guys can see we now have an inverse. We can add the Yeah. Just make sure.